We're here to talk today a little bit about some of the changes that can happen in a woman's body when she is pregnant, when she starts to, as she starts to change as the baby develops. There are physical changes that happen to the mother, obviously, and some of those things involve uh, increase in fluids at times, uh, increase in uh, weight gain in general for the mother. And then as the baby's body increases and grows, uh, that, that puts increased pressure on, on the mother's abdomen and, and pelvis and etc. So with those changes, a lot of things happen. Uh, with an increase in fluids, for example, just in the mother's body, um, you can develop things like carpal tunnel syndrome is one thing that, that some mothers develop. Um, tendonitis and other itises or inflammatory conditions of tendons that can happen as the body changes and as weight increases and as mobility becomes more difficult. Also, there's a hormone that is released into the body. during, Especially during the third trimester, it's called relaxin. And this, uh, this loosens up all the joints of the mother's body. And so you can develop problems like sacroiliac pain or pubic pain or um, pelvic floor pain even. And um, this, can, this can become quite distressing. So what can a mother do to, to help herself and what can a physical therapist do to help uh, a pregnant mother? Um, first of all, no modalities such as electric stimulation or ultrasound should be used as these are contraindicated for pregnant mothers. However, there are many other treatments that, that are offered in physical therapy that can help. Manual therapy treatments to help with alignment of the sacroiliac joint, um, pelvic floor musc uh, strengthening and back stabilization, core stabilization exercises can also be offered. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists suggests that pregnant mothers exercise three to four times a week for 15 minutes each and that they get their heart rate up, heart rate up to about 140 beats per minute. This allows for core strengthening and stability and an increase uh, maintenance of a lot of strength and, and mobility that otherwise could be lost and is also safe for mother and baby. Exercises could include yoga, walking, swimming, cycling, pelvic floor exercises, and core stability exercises. These are all great for, for expectant mothers. And also, if you have more questions or concerns, you can contact your physical therapist here at Intermountain. We'll help you out.